You are more than you see in these bodies. You are source energy extended out here. But even when you are here looking into your physical format, more than the you that you think is looking is looking. There's a source energy part of you always looking with you, through you, with you. So in every moment in time that you are having a conversation, this larger source energy part of you is there in the conversation. And you can tell by the way you feel how intertwined you are vibrationally, how resonant you are with the whole of you. Or you can feel through your emotions how much of who you really are you're pinching off because of your current opinion. Now your opinions are really valid. They are. They're important. And we're not for a moment suggesting that you should come and be a puppet on a string where source just flows through you and does all your thinking for you. But we would like to explain to you how you intended it when you made the decision to come. And as you decide to deliberately apply your awareness that you are a vibrational being, that you are an extension of source energy, the source energy is flowing to you and through you at all times, that you have guidance within you that lets you know how much of that you are allowing in any moment or how much of that you are resisting. As you begin to focus upon these very few premises that are law-based, that are universal, and begin to deliberately apply them from your point of knowing, it is our promise to you that your deliberate, your then deliberate approach to life will be delicious. And you will never again be confused about how things are coming to you. You won't be confused about your life and you won't be confused about anybody else's life. And you won't be asking law of attraction or anything else to be an arbitrary judge of you and everyone else. You won't be asking the impossible things that so many humans are asking, which is let's just bang around together and let's manifest all over the place, wanted and unwanted. And then let's find some judge who is standing outside of us to evaluate the rightness or the wrongness of our behavior or of our creation or of our attraction. And then we will try to mimic whatever the great one decides is the right way to live. And we say nothing like that is anything close to what you knew when you made the decision to come into this time-space reality. Because you knew that you are source energy and you knew that you would be coming forth into a variety of contrast that would stimulate within you a constant new awareness of improvement. New desire would be born all day, every day within you. We call that step one of this creative process. Contrast causes you to ask. You can't stop it, don't try. Every moment of the day, there is something new that is occurring to you that would be an improved condition. That's what the evolution of all species is about. And when you go with the flow of that, rather than bucking the idea of it, things will begin getting easier for you immediately. You can't stop becoming. So step one causes you to ask all day, every day. When you get into a sleeping room that does not have enough closets, it makes you ask for more closets. Now they're not going to show up today, not in most cases, but your asking puts that request into what we are calling a vibrational reality. This vibrational reality, this vortex of vibration. Our human friends sometimes do not like our depiction of this vibrational reality because it's vibrational and unless you are in the frequency of it, you can't translate it into reality. It's a vibrational reality. So it's a future manifestation for you. And we love you very much, but you are rather, we love you very much impatient. We love you very much about those future manifestations. You sort of kind of want things that you want and you want them now. Because in many cases, the reason you want them is because you believe you will feel better in the having of it. In other words, if I had that now, then I would feel good. But since I don't have it, I don't feel so good. And I'm justified in not feeling so good because I don't have this thing that I want. And so I'm going to stand in this place of not feeling so good because I want that thing that I do not have. And I think that someone should make it available to me, even though I'm offering a vibration that prevents it from coming to me. Someone should call someone. Someone should call someone. There should be someone somewhere powerful enough to make it all right for me, even though I'm offering a vibration that prevents it from coming still. Someone should call someone. 
And we say, when you give up on that, when you realize that you've already done the calling, you've already done the asking, that's not the problem. You've asked, step one has happened, and step two has happened too. You've asked and it is given, it has been given, it is vibrationally done. And sometimes you say, often you say, well, big deal with the vibrational doneness because it's not done until I can spend it, okay? It's not done until I can lick it. I want the manifestation of it. I want the reality of it. And we say, we want that for you too, because that's the confirmation of your perfect alignment. But meanwhile, there are a lot of things that are coming into beingness that you could be taking enormous pleasure from if you would allow yourself to understand the process of creation. So step one is contrast causes you to ask for it. And when you do, you launch a rocket of desire that is a little foreign to you because it was born out of your awareness of contrast, often out of your clear awareness of what you don't want. When you know what you don't want, you always know more clearly what you do want, don't you? So you have this request that has been going and going and going and going. In fact, your vortex had a pretty good thing going before you even came into this physical body. And now you're here in this physical body, you are adding to that vortex all day, every day. And you've amassed a veritable fortune of well-being, abundance on all levels, vibrationally here for you. And source, that larger part of you, that part of you that was you before you came into this physical body, that is you even though you're in this physical body, that other vibrational part of you, who is always collecting the best of that which you've become and holding the vibrational light of that, holding it steady so that you can feel your way to it. That non-physical part of you stands in your vortex in complete vibrational alignment, already having become the full vibrational fruition of everything that you've been asking for. In other words, there is a part of you who stands as the culmination of all that you have lived, who is beaming a signal to you all day, every day that you can feel your resonance with or not. When you feel eager, you're right there in alignment. When you feel love or in love, you're right there in alignment. In your appreciation, you're right there, tuned in, tapped in, turned on. No resistance whatsoever in your vibration, vibrating at the same frequency of that pure positive energy that is you. And in that beingness, as you are looking into your world, fully enveloped with that source energy, you are then seeing the world through the eyes of source and everyone who stands as the object of your attention benefits by your connection to this source energy. It's exactly the way you knew you would be. Not in every moment because you said, I'll go forth and I'll explore contrast. I don't want a feathered nest. I don't want someone else figuring it all out for me. I want my personal preferences to count for something. I want my unique, important, extraordinary, unique, important, my unique, I want my unique, my special, my important, my unique perspective to matter. I want to give birth to my rockets of desire. And I know, you said, that when I do, that the resources that create worlds, that the energy that creates worlds will flow toward my rocket of desire. And then you said, you knew so clearly, we're here to remind you again. I have but one thing to do. Once I've done the natural, inevitable, can't stop doing it all day, every day, launching of desire. And once source has done the, what it always does, come into full vibrational alignment with what I've become part. Then you said, my part will be the allowing part. I will practice the art of allowing. I will get so good at allowing. I will feel my way to it because I will understand that my emotions tell me aligned, resisted, allowing, not. Tuned in, tapped in, turned on, not. In other words, you can tell by the way you feel what your in this moment proximity is to the source within you.